Well, it definitely seems a day for um, doing stuff. You were uh, tinkering. I've got no battery. You got no battery. Oh. Well, good morning YouTube, I'm Aid Reeves and today it is a pretty appalling day in the UK. Uh, drizzly, rainy, horrible, supposed to clear up later but who knows, we're in the UK um, and it is winter so we do get these now. So, I'm in the garage today, um, I've got a couple of little jobs to catch up on and, and things that I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, so as you know, um, you've probably seen this little beauty before. This is my 1998 ZX9R Ninja. Um, to be honest, it doesn't get used an awful lot and probably needs to get used a lot, lot more. Um, but today, what I'm going to do is take the bottom belly pan off and the radiator cowl fairing. Um, now, many, many moons ago, um, I hit uh, it was a, a rabbit. I say a rabbit, it was more hair. It was a bloody great big thing, to be honest. Um, frightened the life out of me and cracked the radiator cowling and also the belly pan as well and I'll show you that in a second. Um, so it is looking a little bit worse aware. wear. I'll be honest it was a bit of a temporary repair when I did it so I kind of want to take it off now. Um, it's been a job I've been planning to do for a long long time and I kind of just want to take it off um, have a look at it see if I can make a better repair of it and um, just tidy it up really. So. This is what we're going to do today. Join me. <laughs> so I'm not really sure how much of this you can see. Um, I've got a, it's a terrible torch to be honest. <laughs> I've got a torch on it. So it's a little crack just there. Um, and that just clips in as I remember. And then the belly pan, um, it's right on the bottom there. Right on the bottom. Um, it's held up quite well to be fair. It's done quite well from my temporary repair that was quite a few years ago. But um, yeah, let's get it off. Let's have a look at it and see uh, see if I can improve it slightly. So that's the belly pan off. Uh, as you can tell, there's not much that holds it in. Uh, two pegs at the front there that go into the cowling around the radiator, which I've got to pop off yet. Um, on the <laughs> I'll call it the driver's side, but there is no driver's side on the bike. Um, as you're looking at the bike, so on on this side. Let's do it that way. Yeah, on this side, um, you have a bolt in there. Screw in there, screw in there, and the other side, not much more to be honest. Um, screw in the top, cut the bolts, one, two, and a screw in the front. And the problem I've got, and where the damage is, is just there. I'm not sure how well that comes out on camera, uh, but as you can see, I used fiberglass filler to originally fix it, and to be honest, it's held up really well, but it doesn't look particularly pretty. And I'm sure I can do better. Um, also what needs to happen is you um, need to bloody clean up because <laughs> basically all the road dirt, all the grease and oil congregates in there so it's good to get it off, give it a bit of a clean up and basically when you've got it off um, your front of your bike looks pretty much like that. Um, as you can see there's a little bit of crud underneath there, um, a little bit of oil to be honest I need to find out where that's coming from. Um, I seem to have a slight oil leak from somewhere. Um, most of that there is chain lube. But um, yeah, there's a little drip just there. So I need to investigate that. Um, I hope I haven't got a seal gone or something. Because that could be um, a bigger job. Right, let's um, clean that up. And um, I guess start the fixing process. Okay, so I've cleaned it up a bit and uh, yeah, you can see more of the damage now. Uh, so obviously cracked all the way along there, uh, which you can see, um, quite a nasty bit there. And that is cracking again, so that needs some attention. And then the other side, um, just here, which again is quite nasty. Um, now it is sealed on the bottom side, but yeah, that doesn't look particularly pretty um, and I say that is cracking as well so I think what I'm gonna do is pretty much start to V some of that out start to fill it in with some some plastic filler um, I might even heat filler it uh, plastic weld it but um, yeah it's not bad it's not as bad as I was expecting to be honest um, the original bodge <laughs> held up quite well 
um, but I'd like to make it a bit tidier. Um, I'd actually like to get a new one of these, but they are like a rocking horse dung, to be honest. Bits for ZX are uh, nine hours now, and if you can get them, they're very expensive. Um, and to be honest, there's not much wrong with this. Um, the bit you can see, all that bit there, is in very good nick. Uh, and again, this side is very good condition. It's just, yeah, it's just that bit there. Unfortunate, but yeah, that's the way things are. Um, what I didn't realise as well, I'm not sure if this comes up on camera, I always thought this was black, and it isn't. It is um, like a bluey colour, a really dark royal blue, um, and metallic as well. So, um, yeah, lessons learned there. <laughs> so, I think what I'm going to do is, yeah, channel that out a little bit, backfill it, tidy it right up, and try and make it stronger than what it is at the moment, and... Uh, Let's see if I can get that a little bit flush because that's that's slightly proud there, which makes it look a bit worse. You don't see it, to be honest. Uh, it's right at the bottom of the bike, can't be seen. But uh, just me, I just want to tidy it up and get it looking nice. All right, onwards and upwards. Okay, so I've exposed a little bit more of the uh, crack just there. Uh, as you can see, um, well, I hope you can see anyway. Let me get my head out of light. Um, the crack goes all the way along, which obviously um, you saw from the other side anyway. So what I plan to do is plastic weld that up and then try and fill that gap in with plastic weld as well. Now, plastic weld, um, I'm no expert, don't get me wrong on this, um, but basically it's it's pretty much like metal welding. Um, you use a bit of heat, and cable ties work really well, to try and actually stitch that together. Um, and what I use is just a, a normal soldering iron and kind of dab it in and work it. So let me just see if the soldering iron's hot enough. So basically when you introduce the soldering iron to the plastic, it will start to, to melt slightly. And the whole idea is to try and sort of stitch it. Um, so like you would with a weld, try and work it in and try and get some penetration without obviously going through. Um, now this is going to be really difficult with one hand, so <laughs> I'm going to grab my cable tie and I'm going to grab my soldering iron and I'm going to add some extra weight into that and see if I can improve it. Okay, so I think I've got that pretty much sealed up and um, yeah, if you're wondering why my voice is now a bit muffled, do yourself a favour, wear one of these. This stuff stinks. Oh. <laughs> right, well, take the glasses off. Uh, the girly glasses. Um, oh, take that off. There you go. That's better. Oh God, it's not. No, no. ugly. Oh, turn it around. Turn it around. Um, so yeah, that is now stitched. I'm just going to wait for it to cool down. So basically it's just melting plastic um, back into the original plastic again, just to, to give it some rigidity and some rigidity. Rig yeah, that word. And some strength. Um, if we turn it over, and this will be the first time I've turned it over, I hope it's not a complete mess. Um, yeah, we've got a little bit sticking through there, but I'm going to plastic weld that side as well. So it's pretty much sealed up. Uh, so I just need to go over now and just plastic weld that side and merge it all in. Um, and hopefully then, um, that will be nice and strong. Um, yeah, I'm quite impressed with that to be honest. Um, sometimes plastic welding goes well, sometimes it just doesn't. But uh, that one worked pretty well. The, the original plastic's quite thick so it gave me something to work with. And basically yeah, I've melted in, there's a couple of cable ties in there believe it or not. Uh, they're melted into the plastic, they're stitched into it, and yeah, it looks a bit of a mess, but to be honest, it's going to be a lot stronger than what it was with just a fiberglass over the top of it, because that was starting to crack off, as you can see. So I'm going to turn it over, do the other side, and then sand it, and um, a little bit of spray on it. Job's a good one. Okay, so that's that side filled in as well, and I'll be honest, I'm... I'm happy with how, how that's turned out. Yeah, that's that's it's not bad. Um, it's going to need sanding down. Uh, I'll slim a little bit of filler in there as well, and just you know, hide some of the nastiness, and then uh, yeah, give it a spray over, and um, put it back on the bike again. Um, I'm going to struggle a bit to find the colour, I think, but no, I, I might do it black. I'm not too sure yet. Um, as I say, it is um, it's not a black. It's kind of a kind of a silvery blue metallic it's um yeah it's um quite different to what i thought it was but anyway it's fixed and that's the main thing so that's all nice and strong now yeah, it's got plenty of rigidity rigidity that's the word i can't say today rigidity in there um so that's pretty much what i wanted to do 
Um, all I've got to do now is do the same on the cowling and that will be the next step. So that's the radiator cowling and as you can see it's broke there and pretty obviously <laughs> broke just there. So good job I took it off really because uh, yeah, this side there wasn't much holding it on. Pretty much to get it off um, you've got a couple of screws um, that hold it in on the side of the fairing. So the screws down there and then it just pops off so it's uh, quite easy to get off but uh, to be honest looking at it I'm not sure I even needed to take those two screws off it it seems to just have pegs on it not actually screw holes um, and obviously the curling that's down there at the moment or the belly pan should we say pops into there so it all holds it together um, so once it's on it's quite strong even though that bit as you can see it clearly broke off um, it was all quite strong and it was all holding together but I'm going to take all this uh, this old repair off and pretty much do the same with the plastic welding I just did. Yeah, let's crack on. And the area is cleaned up and uh, yeah just going to start stitching it together now. Now if you wondered what I did it with originally it's actually P40 uh, body filler for cars. It's a fiberglass matting filler and to be honest I've used it on uh, a lot of things it does work really really well so don't underestimate it. That's been on there uh, probably quite a few years now and uh, it did the job but I just want to go that extra step so and uh, like I say cleaned up and uh, right gonna get the soldering going out and try and stitch it together and that's that bit done all plastic welded up um, yeah going all right so far so um, yeah it won't be long before we put it back together again um, yeah I'm impressed well, it definitely seems a day for um, doing stuff. You were uh, tinkering. I've got no battery. You got no battery. Oh, you got yeah. to change your battery then? No. Nope. Oh, okay. Something that's connected to the battery. Um, the ignition. You can't see it though. I don't know. You might be able to see it. Oh, Smiling. I know what you're doing. It's down there, the alternator. Yep. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> It's easy. Is it? Yeah. Are you sure? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're getting there. Um, just rub that down. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, filler in it just to tidy it up. Uh, not looking too bad. Got a little bit of spray paint as well that I think matches the colour that's on it. And I'll try and blend that in. So, um, yeah, it's going alright at the moment. Um, not a bad job. We're getting there, getting there, colours on, and a very light coat so far, um, it looks like clear primer but it isn't, it's actually plastic primer, uh, works very well, uh, it's very flexible so it doesn't cause any cracking or hazing or anything like that, but uh, yeah, first coat on, looking okay. Okay, it's all sprayed up, and even lacquered it over, um, didn't have a shiny finish on it originally, but it has now. To make it easy to clean <laughs> but uh, at least all it's uh, it's all the same color now uh, the repairs done looks good all I've got to do now is put it back on the bike I'm gonna let it dry for 24 hours and uh, that'll do nicely there you go one repair done